would be nice for Romano that he lives to see the day when laws are cut again in Rotterdam. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They explained to me that they cut the laws here. Yeah, okay, yeah. And laws are to be There used to be a nice path, but this is long gone. Yeah, I saw a few there. Yeah, this is a beautiful uh, rock. It comes, in, comes in nice layers, and so I think they cut them down. There are some up there that are seem to almost come down. Yeah. Also kein richtiges Rad mehr. <lacht> das ist schon sehr viel. Mit das haben wir einen Platten sozusagen. Ja. Ja. Ah, wohl man ist. The first cars had all to begin like this. Ja. Ja. Auch. <lacht> genau, so kann man die Fahne auch wieder ein bisschen killen. Okay, da kommt ein Stein. Oh. Ja, ich dachte, das ist das. Rotolade. Regular Hitze. Oh. Ich darf. Oh, my God. You're working quite a lot for. Like you're not for an old man. No, for a man who doesn't work on Sunday. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> the silence of the just. <laughs> it's, it's either the mountain stream or your, the stream going down your throat. <laughs>
Should we carry it? Oh, no, no. Maybe you can leave Yeah, maybe two. Nice job. So all those stones come from a place on the other side of the hill where they historically always took the stones for all the roofs in the nearby sort of neighborhood. Because it's a great place to chip off the rocks and they chip off nicely as big flag stones. So of course they don't do that anymore because usually people buy stones from the stone quarry. And now you have the perfect size, but they're very expensive. And these stones have a nice patina, you know, some look like brown or a bit more bluish or bronze color, so it's very beautiful. But it was hard work getting them up, but we managed today, so really glad. Right, guys? It was a big job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Je pense que petite pierre ici, on pourrait soit les remettre là, soit le bout. The witch, it's not like that. Oh, it's quite nice. We need to go a bit further to the Quite thin, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but that's good. Yeah. I mean, you have enough. Yeah. You guys throw this on the composting yeah. pile. Right. No, like I don't have. Um, you know where it is? The it's in front of the house, next to the big tree over there. Behind the house. So yeah, yeah down the hill from the house. 
Okay. Either back or just. Uh, oh, you'll see it. Okay. Next uh, to the oh, hello. So. Hi. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm in time for food. Yeah. <laughs> yes. You have oh, a good, just, good uh, nose. I was going to check on. Just got a parasol from on, the from the from the, oh, nice. the garden. I was going the to last check on. Mushrooms. I was going to check on the on the on the progress. Roof's going well. I mean, we did a little bit more yesterday, right? Uh, mm -hmm. And we're now we're focusing on pining stones. Okay. So uh, we got a few of this one. Ah, there, right, right. There, there's a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Collecting them, and then we continue today or tomorrow, and then we. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. If you drill also here. Today. Like this is waste. <laughs> yeah, but, but I'm going to do a little bit of work on the solar panels because they're not getting enough sun. I'm waiting for the leaves to fall off because these are sort of the darkest days of the year when the sun is low and the leaves are still on the tree. So in a week or two, two or three, I think all the leaves will be off and then the sun will be able to shine through the trees and there's more sun. Right now it's 11.30, so it's almost midday. And um, yeah. Oh, I want to show you this first. There's all small, large trees sprouting. I hadn't seen them last year, so I think they're a year old. There's one here, there, there. So I think they naturally sprouted here, which is really nice. So in some years, there's going to be large trees in the property. And there's more down here. I think this is the biggest one. And there are two, which I'm going to keep here. And Carolini was here. The other day, made a nice little. Uh, uh, she cut the grass so I put some stones around it. It's exciting because I love the pine trees. You know they're beautiful. There's a few along the path here that are bigger, and on the mountains here, like here it's all beech and birch trees, but on the slopes there, there's some large forests.
dog. Hey. Must be a stray dog. Who are you? You have a collar? It doesn't have a collar. Just saw the dog of yesterday. It was sitting next to the car. When I came out of the tent, it ran away. It's a brown, small dog. Let's have a look if it's still there. So this is the second day I'm working on the roof on my own. It's going quite well, although it's heavy work. But it was great to have Giorgio here last week because he has a lot of tips and tricks. Um, he's one of the few senior masons who has experience with these type of stones. Um, most buildings uh, are here with stone roofs, but they have the perfectly cut square 80 by 80 stones. So most builders that can lay those because it's more like tiles they're all the same size same thickness same they're all perfectly flat um, but i think this is more beautiful you know this is stone that is locally harvested they're all different widths and thickness it has a very organic feel to it but it's difficult to lay them because uh it's yeah it's more difficult to get it waterproof because you've got gaps and you need to work the stone a little bit more so it takes also quite a bit longer um, you know the flow of the water you have to follow it like for example this one I had it yesterday the other way around uh, and then I figured that if this is on the back and the water comes here it's not able to get over this bump so you have to look at how the, the water can be able to trip off and the same with the edge for example this is not good but it's kind of okay because this is already outside of the, the wall you need to have this because the water can drip down and it will drip off the stone here but if it's going inwards water can it will follow the stone inwards and then will drip off here so you get water into your roof so there's all these little things you have to take into account um, but it's great to have Giorgio here because he also the tips and tricks of how to carry stones around you know have a long hammer and a claw you can rotate them you can let a stone down with a long hammer, uh, even lift them up. So you can actually, he was actually able to do a lot on his own using this hammer. Uh, or not this one, another one. And also walking with stones. Actually with three people we were able to get the biggest and heaviest stones by able to, to walk it around like that. So it was great to have him, learned a lot. Uh, but I got another half of the roof to be done, so not there yet.
so yesterday I put in this extra vapor barrier here just to buffer the window because usually the vapor barrier of the roof window will interact with the vapor barrier of the roof but because it was already underneath the, the chicken wire I couldn't do that anymore so now when there's water coming through the stones it will go down here and then it will drain out this gutter on the side of the window so you don't have water coming in the top of your window where it's connected to the roof. Walk on the shortest edge is probably on there. Or that. Or there. I think that makes sense. Lift it up down there, yeah. Have a whole more roll. You have to walk up. Yeah, it's like yeah. too high. So now we have to try to lift it up there. There you go. Yeah, this is good. It's pretty good. You have to lift it up here. I'm gonna get my hammer because it's easier to. The thing is, like when I do that here, you get so much more pressure there. I try, I try to go vertical. Yeah. It's now to go here. Okay. Five centimeters. I think we're good. Are we there? It's a little more down. Here we're a bit far out, but that's not straight, isn't it? But it's, it's kind of okay. Prayers are heard. <laughs> yeah, what's that kid helping you like? It's <laughs> helpful. <laughs> We've got, we got, we got one stone on. Fairly big. Nice. But, um, yeah, we have an even bigger one. We have a giant one. Good job.
something. <laughs> In the end, brute force wins the day. Size has improved. Yeah, <laughs> it's also easier to just grip. I like the ergonomics, <laughs> <not> the, <laughs> <laughs> the aerodynamics. Somebody <laughs> needs to still maybe put things in order. The most important part is to keep them vertical. Yeah. <laughs> Famous last words. <laughs> <laughs> Rolling has just gotten yeah. more fun. This is one side that comes down. I need to knock off a bit more there. So, because here we've got too much. So you're good. I have, to go, go. I have to go beat up. Let's go. Oop. Not quite, but I mean, you're not wrong either. Wow, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's 500. Oh, 200 to 600. 200 right? to 600 F4, right? Yes. Or is it... Uh, it's very smooth. Or is it locked? Time for a walk. I'm gonna go up the ghost town down there where the green meadow is, and then up that pulpit rock. And then I'm gonna go over the ridge into the next valley, uh, and then yeah, see how far I get. I've never been there before, so it's gonna be interesting. Beautiful day, slightly hazy but sunny.
So I've been further than this the last time, so I'm gonna walk into that valley and I can end up there, I think. There's a waterfall right there. The vegetation is very different on this side of the of this of this mountain. Beautiful. So there's a little township here, and there too, and there behind that, there's the big diagonal you always see in the views, but I'm gonna call it a day. I'm gonna head back, I'm hungry. So we know the length of this. This is. Oh yeah, that, that also. Two meter, I think that was good. Two, yeah, but for the length of those, uh, the next. All right. First stone is on the gutter. Just put in the whole gutter for the roof window in. But I have to be very careful not to damage it because when you put the stones on, you know, this is designed for roof tiles or, or slate or shingles, you know. Um, it's quite sensitive, especially with these heavy stones on top of it. But it's going well. And uh, the bigger stones are on. There's, and now there's only smaller stones on the property and I hope I have enough. Because you, you lose about 25-30% when you take all the stones off the roof and you're rebuilding it because you're cutting the stones, you're overlaying it more than it was done before. So you always lose something, but I, I, I think I've just got enough. And um, yeah, most of the big ones are on there, thanks to... Well, a big group of people was here the last two weeks. Um, Giorgio... Johannes helped a lot, Stefano, the neighbor, uh, Patrick and Caroline, Emmanuel, Fabrizio was here, uh, Alessandro, and last, Frederick, who just left. So um, thanks for all the help. It was really um, great to have everyone here. So yeah, I think hopefully next week I'll get pretty far with the roof of the stones. And then I have to do some testing if all the water is dripping off nicely.